Have you ever wondered how secure your Wi-Fi really is? Ethical hacking is like being a digital detective, using the same tools as malicious hackers to find and fix vulnerabilities. It's about making the digital world safer, one network at a time. Think of it like a crash test for your Wi-Fi, helping you identify weak spots before someone with bad intentions can exploit them. In this guide, we'll journey into the world of ethical hacking with Kali Linux, a powerful operating system designed for security professionals. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The techniques outlined here are for educational purposes and ethical hacking only. Unauthorized access to Wi-Fi networks is illegal and unethical. Always ensure you have explicit permission before attempting to test the security of any network. Let's get started. Before we can begin our ethical hacking adventure, we need the right tools. And in the world of cybersecurity, having the right operating system is crucial. Kali Linux, a Debian-based Linux distribution, is our weapon of choice. It's specifically designed for digital forensics and penetration testing. It comes preloaded with a vast arsenal of security tools, making it the go-to operating system for ethical hackers and security enthusiasts. From network analysis to vulnerability assessment, Kali Linux has it all. First, you'll need to download the Kali Linux ISO file from the official website. This file is essentially a digital copy of the operating system. Make sure to choose the correct version for your system architecture, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. This ensures compatibility and optimal performance. Next, you'll need a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage. This will serve as the medium to transfer the operating system to your computer. This will be used to create a bootable USB drive, allowing you to install Kali Linux on your computer. The process is straightforward, but requires attention to detail. There are several tools available for creating bootable USB drives, such as Rufus or Belina Etcher. These tools are user-friendly and widely recommended. Once you've created your bootable USB drive, insert it into your computer and boot from it. This step is crucial for initiating the installation process. This may require changing the boot order in your BIOS settings. Accessing the BIOS can usually be done by pressing a specific key during startup, like F2 or delete. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Kali Linux. The installation process will guide you through setting up partitions, user accounts, and other essential configurations. Now that we have Kali Linux installed, Let's get familiar with the tools of the trade. Kali Linux is a powerful platform designed for cybersecurity professionals and enthusiasts alike. It offers a wide range of tools that can be used for various security tasks, from penetration testing to digital forensics. Kali Linux comes with a plethora of pre-installed security tools, but for our Wi-Fi hacking adventure, we'll focus on a few key players. These tools are essential for anyone looking to test the security of wireless networks and ensure they are protected against potential threats. Aircrack Ng is our Swiss Army knife for Wi-Fi security testing. It's a suite of tools designed to assess the security of Wi-Fi networks, including monitoring network traffic, capturing handshakes, and cracking passwords. With Aircrack Ng, you can perform a variety of attacks to test the robustness of your network security. Next up is Reaver, another powerful tool in our arsenal. Reaver specializes in brute forcing WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup pins, which are often poorly protected. This tool can be particularly effective against networks that rely on WPS for easy device connections. Airman Annie Ng is our air traffic controller, allowing us to put our wireless network adapter into monitor mode. This mode is essential for capturing network traffic and performing attacks. By enabling monitor mode, we can observe all the data being transmitted over the network, giving us the information we need to proceed with our tests. These are just a few of the many tools available in Kali Linux. As you become more familiar with the operating system, you can explore the vast array of tools and customize your toolkit to suit your needs. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced professional, Kali Linux has something to offer for everyone in the field of cybersecurity. Now let's put our tools to work and start scanning for Wi-Fi networks. This process will allow us to see all the available networks around us, giving us a comprehensive view of the wireless landscape in our vicinity. Open a terminal window in Kali Linux. This is where we'll be executing all our commands. The terminal is a powerful tool that allows us to interact directly with the operating system and its various utilities. 
Think of this as our command center, where we'll be typing in commands to interact with our tools. It's essential to get comfortable with the terminal, as it provides us with the flexibility and control needed for our tasks. The first command we'll use is Airman Ang. This command is part of the Aircrack Ang suite, a set of tools specifically designed for network security testing. This will list all the wireless network adapters on our system. Each adapter is a piece of hardware that allows your computer to connect to wireless networks. Identify the one you're using for Wi-Fi and make note of its name, for example, ULAN Zero. This is crucial because we'll need to reference this adapter in our subsequent commands. Next, we need to put our wireless adapter into monitor mode using Airmon Engang. Monitor mode allows the adapter to capture all wireless traffic, not just the traffic intended for it. Type the command Airmon Ang start WLAN0, replace WLAN0 with your adapter name. This command initiates monitor mode, enabling us to listen to all the Wi-Fi traffic in the vicinity. Our adapter is now listening to all the Wi-Fi traffic in the vicinity. This means it can capture packets from any network within range, providing us with valuable data. To see this, type Aerodump Ang LAN0 MON, replace LAN0 MON with the name of your adapter in monitor mode, which is usually LAN0 followed by MON. This command will start displaying all the networks and their details. You'll see a live feed of all the Wi-Fi networks in range, along with their details like SSID, signal strength, encryption type, and more. This information is crucial for understanding the wireless environment around you. Section 5. Cracking the Code, WPA slash WPA2 with Aircrack Ang. With our target network in sight, let's focus on cracking its password. We'll be targeting WPA slash WPA2 encryption, the most common type of security used in Wi-Fi networks today. Cracking WPA slash WPA2 passwords relies on capturing a handshake. This is a small exchange of data that happens when a device connects to a Wi-Fi network. The handshake contains the encrypted password, which we can then try to crack using Aircrack Ang. Keep an eye on the Aerodump Ang output and look for a device connecting to the target network. Once a device connects, Aircrack Ang will capture the handshake, which will be displayed in the terminal window. We now have what we need to start cracking the password. Section 6. The Art of Decryption. Unveiling the Wi-Fi Password. Now that we have the handshake, the real work begins cracking the password. Air cracking uses dictionaries to try different password combinations. A dictionary is simply a text file containing a list of words, phrases, and common passwords. You can download pre-made dictionaries or create your own. To start cracking, use the command aircracking w slash path slash to slash dictionary b bssid slash path slash to slash handshake dot cap replace slash path slash to slash dictionary with the actual path to your dictionary file, BSSID with the BSSID of the target network, and slash path slash to slash handshake dot cap with the path to the captured handshake file. Aircrack Ang will start trying different passwords from the dictionary, checking if any match the encrypted password in the handshake. The time it takes to crack the password depends on the password's complexity and the dictionary's size. Section 7. Staying Safe and Legal. The Importance of Ethical Hacking. Congratulations, you've successfully cracked a Wi-Fi password using Kali Linux. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The techniques outlined here are for educational purposes and ethical hacking only. Unauthorized access to Wi-Fi networks is illegal and unethical. Always ensure you have explicit permission before attempting to test the security of any network. Use your newfound knowledge for good Help friends and families secure their networks. Educate others about the importance of strong passwords and contribute to a safer digital world. Section 8. Expanding your knowledge, further resources, and learning. This guide has provided a basic introduction to Wi-Fi hacking with Kali Linux. The world of ethical hacking is vast and constantly evolving. There's always more to learn, new tools to explore, and new challenges to tackle. To further your journey, Consider exploring online resources like Cybrary, Hack the Box, and Sanas Institute. These platforms offer courses, challenges, and communities where you can deepen your knowledge and connect with other security enthusiasts. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. Set up your own lab environment, experiment with different tools, and challenge yourself to solve real-world security problems. 
Section 9. Conclusion. Embracing ethical hacking for a secure future. As technology advances, so do the threats to our digital world. Ethical hacking plays a crucial role in staying one step ahead of malicious actors. By understanding how vulnerabilities are exploited, we can better protect our networks, data, and privacy. By embracing ethical hacking, we can create a more secure digital future for ourselves and generations to come. Remember, the journey of an ethical hacker is never ending. Stay curious, stay ethical, and keep learning. The future of cybersecurity depends on it.